new book from the Loose Women. You're let loose. What do you need to tell us? Girl? That's what? a great title, isn't it? Loose Women Let Loose. Yeah. Women, I'll tell you. <laughs> what does being a loose woman, woman mean to you, Gloria? What does it mean? Because you're a bit of a loose man. <laughs> He's just a loose cannon. <laughs> tell me what I think it means to me when I watch Loose Women. It's a great, it's a great show because it actually... You guys just reflect, I think, the hopes, the cares, the fears, the concerns of so many women in this country. Mm. You're basically having a conversation they're all having with their friends. Yes, it is. And, and actually, I think that a lot of women, if they're just having a coffee, you know, sort of uh, together, mm. or uh, if they're in a pub or something, they do talk about it, as, as they do with your programme. They mm. take a subject and they talk about it afterwards. But I find it really quite funny because in Dublin in particular, don't ask me why in Dublin, mm. but a very, very elderly woman stopped me one day and she just whispered. She went, I love that loose women. And I said, why do you like her so much? She said, because you talk about intimate things that we were yeah. never allowed to talk about. Yeah. Well, isn't and that I, funny? Because she whispered it like it was a guilty secret. Exactly. Yeah. And, of course, it would be the same. And the, the strength of it, I think, is the fact that you have a band of women yeah. of all ages, uh, very diverse in terms of culture, etc. And experience. Uh, yes. Yeah. And we all go through these issues, you know, day in, day out. I mean, whether you're talking about that lovely little boy, you mm. know, who was uh, worried about his dad. Well, we all go through those issues. And well, so the guy we talk the about it. It's an amazing story. Ama an amazing story. Yeah. I know. When are you going to take it up? <laughs> <laughs> are you fat shaming me, Gloria? No, I'm not. I think you're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gloria. Thank just, you. Just um, teasing. Just teasing. The 25 years of Lucy. Did, did you guys ever think when this all started it would be 25 years? Well, that? I think it's only 20, is it not? Is it 20? Uh, 20, I think. Okay. But, and certainly I wasn't I there at you. the beginning uh, of the 20. <laughs> mm. um, I've only been there for about the last four years. But I think, you know, the strength is, as I said, it's the variety of women, the variety of opinions. I mean, for example, Growing up in Northern Ireland when I did, you know, 40s, 50s, it's totally different to young people today. And so, therefore, my attitude towards certain things mm -hmm. would be totally different to... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And although I try to keep myself up to date, uh, but on the other hand, life changes so much. Extraordinary women on our programme yesterday morning. Yes. Jennifer R. Curie. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised she didn't just say, look, I'm in business. Yes, I sort of apply for contracts and things, mm. but she didn't talk about I'm in business like mm. anybody else. And when somebody denies or, or doesn't deny having a bit of uh, rump dip You were desperate to know when... Well, because I think it's actually relevant to that scandal. Very relevant. No, I understand uh, But when someone doesn't deny it that many times, do we safely assume it's true? Well, not necessarily. I think a lot of people just do not want to talk about their mm. intimate life, if I can put it like that. She didn't that... strike me as the shy and retiring type. No, no. Actually, <laughs> she, she handled herself quite well. She'd make a good honest. loose woman, wouldn't she? She would be a very good loose woman. <laughs> she actually would be. She'd she be would brilliant be on loose women. Uh, Gloria, you're fabulous on loose women. It's a great show. 20, 20, 20 years of loose women. And Gloria's one of the great team there. Uh, and long may they reign.